Hello, uh, in this lecture we talk about chapter 4 which is the structure of crystalline solids. Uh, in this chapter we will talk about crystal structure for metals and ceramics. <coughs> we will talk about features like density uh, along a plane or along a certain direction. We will talk about how the crystal structure of ceramic is differ different from the crystal structure of metals. You know materials like uh, metals we have a crystal structure which is an organized arrays of atoms something similar to the one that we have on the left side or uh, the same that uh, we have on the right side. Here we want to see how we can stack these type of uh, atoms structures on top of each other so that we minimize empty space. We will talk about how we can stack these 2D layers to make 3D structures. Uh, in metals, uh, crystal structures, uh, sorry, structures tend to be, sorry, tend to be densely packed. The reason for uh, dense packing is that uh, typically only one element is present, so all atomic ready are the same. Metallic uh, bonding is not directional. That's the second reason. The third one, uh, nearest neighbor distances tend to be small in order to lower bond energy. And electron cloud, the shields, cores from each other. So these are the main reason for dense packing. Generally, metals have uh, the simplest crystal structure, and we here we will discuss about three types of those structures. Uh, the first type of uh, crystal structure is a simple cubic structure known as SC. Uh, this is rare due to a low packing density. You see, there are lots of space left between these atoms. Uh, only polonium has this structure and the uh, close packs direction, the direction that have uh, the highest number of uh, atoms are on cube edges as you can see here. The, coordina uh, the coordination number which is the nearest neighbors as you can see in this uh, picture are 6. Excuse me, is 6 as you can see here. Uh, one of the features that we try to find in this crystal structure, including uh, simple cubic structure, is atomic packing factor as uh, shown by APF. Atomic packing factor is the volume of atoms in each unit cell divided by the volume of unit cell. So the density, the volumic, uh, volumetric density of atoms in this unit cell. So for simplified or simple cubic structure, we have the number of atoms. To find the number of atoms, if you look at each of them, you see each chunk of atom that is in the corner of this unit cell is 1 over 8 of each sphere or each atom. We have 8 of them in these 8 corners resulting in 8 times 1 over 8, one atom per unit cell. And because the side of each unit cell is supposed to be uh, equal to a value, say, A, then we can write down, we have one atom, this is the volume of atom, divided by the volume of this cube, which is A to the power of 3. As you can see, the radius of each of these atoms is half of a similar to here so instead of r to the power of 3 we can write down half a to the power of 3 this is uh, resulting in a, in the in a value of 0.52 for the atomic packing factor of simple cubic structure uh, the first type of uh, crystal structure is a simple cubic structure known as sc uh, this is rare due to a low packing density. You see there are lots of space left between these atoms. Uh, only polonium has this structure. And the uh, close packs direction, the direction that have uh, the highest number of uh, atoms are 
and Q edges as you can see here the coordinate uh, the coordination number which is the nearest neighbors as you can see in this uh, picture are six excuse me is six as you can see here uh, one of the features that we try to find in this crystal structure including uh, simple cubic structure is atomic packing factor as uh, shown by APF atomic packing factor is the volume of atoms in each unit cell divided by the volume of unit cell so the density the volumic uh, volumetric density of atoms in this unit cell so for simplified or simple cubic structure we have the number of atoms to find the number of atoms if you look at each of them you see each chunk of atom that is in the corner of this unit cell is 1 over 8 of each sphere or each atom we have 8 of them in these 8 corners resulting in 8 times 1 over 8 1 atom per unit cell and because the side of each unit cell is supposed to be uh, equal to a value say A then we can write down we have one atom this is the volume of atom divided by the volume of this cube which is A to the power of 3 as you can see the radius of each of these atoms is half of a similar to here so instead of r to the power of 3 we can write down half a to the power of 3 this is uh, resulting in a, in the in a value of 0.52 for the atomic packing factor of simple cubic structure uh, the next type of metallic uh, crystal structure is body center cubic structure or BCC uh, here atoms touch each other along cube diagonal if you look at this unit cell you see this atom in the middle is touching the other one along the diagonal uh, just atoms here are identical and uh, the size is only for a better uh, viewing you see it's a little bit darker that's only for ease of viewing example of BCC uh, atoms are chromium or uh, tungsten, iron, the alpha phase, tantalum, and molybdenum. These are examples. The coordination number of BCC is similar to what we did in um, SC. It can be proved that it's equal to 8. The number of atoms, if you can see here, each of these ones are making 1 eighth of atoms. So altogether we have 1 from here. And there is 1 on the center, making it uh, 2 atoms per unit so if you want to have a look at how uh, this looks like we can use um, Wiley plus uh, flash or we can look at this um, open and uh, free website items and you can see we have different ones including BCC as you can see here so you can rotate see how it looks like you can also s change the size of it and also the angle as you can see here uh, to find the atomic packing factor for BCC crystal structure first of all we have to find the relation between the radius of an atom and the side the size of the side which is A, the relation between R and A let's see this video and also bear in mind that uh, many metals has a unit cell of cubic geometry look at the video that I have prepared and then we go back to uh, do the rest of calculation to find APF find the relation between radius of each atom and the side of this BCC model the model that they've made it uh, this uh, colored balls uh, first of all what we do we use Pythagoras um, theorem if you look at the base this base here just rotate it you see for this base you can assume this right triangle with this side equal to A, this side equal to A, and this side unknown using theorem, we can find it to be equal to root of 2A. Now, 
to look at this triangle that one of its sides, the hypotenuse side, is actually is this diagonal passing from this electron, then this electron here, and then so this atom, the orange atom, and the pink atom here. If we look at this uh, triangle, the right triangle, in which one of the sides is this one, the other side is this one we, that we just calculated, and this is the other side, which is here, so one, two, and three, then we can write down um, and we can draw a triangle that one side is A, the other side is root of 2A, and applying uh, Pythagoras theorem, we can find that this diagonal is equal to uh, root of 3A. And from the other side, we know that this diagonal is equal to 1R, 1 radius, 2 radius passing from the whole atom, and one radius here. So 4R is equal to root of 3A. So we can find the relation between R and uh, A here. Okay, so we have this relation between A and R. As you can see, 4R is equal to root of 3A. APF is uh, the volume of number of atoms. As you can see here, we have one central atom and eight of one eight atoms, making it two. So two, two, two times the volume of each atom divided by the volume of unit cell, and then you can do the rest of the calculation. Uh, this is the end of session six. Thank you.